How you making folks and welcome back to another one. Unless it's your first time here. Well, welcome. Stick around, you might like it. Today we are gonna go and catch a fish to put in my fish tank. I know, I know. I know what you're saying. But Vinny, didn't you just like do that already? Like two videos ago? Like, why are you doing it again? Well, here's the reason. As y'all can see, Blue's been being a bad boy. You can see Flipper's tail is all jacked up, starting to get uh, messed up and chewed up because of that guy. Well, unfortunately, old Blue here is an uh, invasive species in Louisiana and I caught him out of the, the canal. I can't release him. I can't go put him back in the canal. Because there's a kill order on it, you have to either kill it or eat it. So, uh, well, pretty much leaves us only one choice. Yes! Oh no! He got off! He got off! Oh, I think he learned. It's not good, folks. Not good at all. I think I've just been outsmarted by a fish. Alright, new strategy. Pretty sure he hasn't seen this before. So it's pretty bad. I, uh, I can see the fish in my fish tank. He has nowhere to go. He bit the hook once. I didn't hook him correctly. That's on me. But he learned that quick. Who is this guy? Well, since the worm didn't work and he didn't figure this out with that one and the Vienna sausage didn't work, we're gonna go around. Oh man, I need to cut the grass back here. Yeah. We'll go dig around in a few spots, see if we can't find a grub or something different. We gotta fool this thing, we gotta get him out of there. And nothing. And nothing. All right, I did a little recon off camera. I think we found us a slug. Boom. Here we go, little guy. I'm sure he'll smell a little different. See if we can't trick him with that one. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! We have succeeded! All right, folks, we got the bad fish. We have rescued Flipper. Sorry, buddy. Tried to tell you it had to behave. Since we can't throw you back, it's time to catch clean cook. All right, Flipper, breathe easy, brother. You are now free from the tyranny of the sickly king. So yeah, that happened. But now we're out at the park. We're gonna go try once more, but this time we're gonna try and get a perch. A little perch, a little brim, a little bluegill, whatever you wanna call it. Hopefully we can find one that's the same size or maybe a little bit smaller than old Flipper so he don't have to deal with that situation again get his tail all nipped off and whatnot yeah but um well we done i'd already done caught and clean blue so uh i guess after we do all this and pop the new fish in the tank it'll be time for the cooking part mushroom mushroom so i brought them in the trap because i figured while we were on there trying to catch a little perch we could stick this thing in there and try and catch some minners that way we can put some of those in the fish tank i'll throw some crackers in there I, mean, I don't know what these fish are like. Throw a bunch of crackers in there, like so. Maybe I'll eat one. Heck, we'll even stick a worm in there. Who knows? Uh, well, the worm probably just fall through the hole, huh? All right, we're not going to put a worm in there. All right. Attach this bad boy like so. Oh, nope, that's not how I go. There we go. Close it up like so. See that little Duma thingy right there. And there we go. Ready to toss that sucker in the water. I don't know if y'all can see. I can already see a bunch of minnows swimming right there so might be a good spot we don't really care how big they are we'll probably get some little guys of course those are so small they'll probably swim right through here but anyway we're gonna have to try it and see you never know unless you go you know what i'm saying I'll toss that boy right over there oh almost lost it yeah that looks like a good spot what the heck 
All right, we're just gonna leave that minute trap right there and uh, go dangle the line right up on over here and see if we can't get your perch while that's soaking. We'll just leave that there until it's time to go. All right, we're just gonna worm up this hook right. Chill. I'm using the smallest hook I got because we're trying to catch them little baby perch. I know they make smaller hooks than this, but well, I ain't got any, so. Warm out today. It was warm yesterday. Even warmer today. Ooh, ooh. First cast, we just seen a little perch take it. Ooh, this might not take long, fellas. Look, look at this. Oh, what do you know, boys? Look at this little guy. Oh, no. I do swallowed that. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, we'll try again. <laughs> yep, there we go. Whoo, boy. There we go. Calm down, buddy. Calm down, Junior. Man, that looks like a good little fish there, boys. He's pretty, too. Yeah, we're going to go put him in the bucket for sure. That might be the one, fellas. This might be the one. He is pretty, so pretty. Gotta empty out our stuff here. That's nasty. And hopefully we don't lose this guy while we're trying to fill a bucket up with water. As y'all know how good I am at that. Happens quite a bit. Ugh. Ooh, hopefully I don't slip and fall in the water. All right, here you go, buddy. Let's see, hopefully our bubbler still works. Yep, listen to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we go. Keep that dude oxygenated up. Put the lid on. Go keep him in the shade. Let's go try some more. And we still have our worm, fellas. This is turning out to be a okay. Maybe we'll get more than one to put in there. Oh, there he goes. Just that quick. Oh, look how cute. Oh no! Oh! You little sucker, you. You'd have been so pretty in the tank. That size would have been perfect, y'all. Absolutely perfecto. Oh, come on, there's a little guy right there. Come on, little guy. That's what we want, the little guy. Come on, T Bug. Ooh, he wants it. He wants it. Oh, there we go. We got some action. Oh. Maybe that was just me reeling. Oh, no, there we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at this little dude. Oh, we got to get him in the bucket. Got to get him in the bucket. In the bucket. Hold on. Oh, no. Whew. That's why I wanted to get him off the water. Yeah, buddy. Look at this little dude. All right, dude. Maybe we get a few of these guys. There you go. In the bucket. Whew, this might not take long at all, fellas. Killing it. Killing it out here. Let's see if we can catch another little T-boy. Fishing in the canal, trying to... God, look at that! Did y'all see that? These dudes are ridiculous. I mean, as soon as it's hitting the water. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, these guys are like the perfect size, too. Oh, man, they don't get hooked very hard. That's nice. All right, I think that's going to be enough. That is going to be enough for the tank. We're going to probably try and put those three guys in there. Hopefully, we don't have any problems. But that didn't take long at all to get the little guys that we was looking for. So I'm going to uh, just work my way down, back down, work my way back down. I'm just going to work my way back down to the minnow trap. It ain't been soaking, but maybe for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Yeah, we may or may not have anything. And the minnows I'm seeing swimming around, those guys look small enough to fit through the holes. But that's okay. We still got a couple fish to put in our fish tank. So I'm going to set this up and pull this thing out and see what we got. All right, we're going to bring this bucket over there with us. Because if they are too small, we might be able to get them out of there before they fall through the cracks when I pull it up. The key is, is to not let this bucket go in there and lose all our fish, the bucket and the little water dangling. I mean the little air dangamaflagy. So let's see what happens. Here goes nothing. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, we got something. Woo, we got a little guy. One little guy. Calm down, buddy. 
Oh, we got one. Oh, he looks like, I don't know though, he looks like a little perch. Well, unfortunately guys, that is a little perch, a little bluegill. And uh, unfortunately, it is illegal to catch these in traps. You gotta catch them with a hook and line because they're considered game fish, so. Later, dude. Oh well, but at least we got those other three. So, hey, wait first, let's, uh, here you go. Eat up, guys. I'm gonna get on back to the, to the house and put these guys in the tank and eat some lunch. What'd you say there, Flip? We got you some new roommates, buddy. All right, just to show you what we got going on here, we got, oh, wait, let me get this zoomed out a little bit. There we go. All right, just to show you what we got going on here, I got the bucket right here with these guys and, you know, obviously the fish tank. So the water temperature is pretty much the same. So I'm just going to take, just to get them used to the water of the fish tank, I'm going to take this, I'm going to scoop a scoop out of the bucket, empty it in this bucket, scoop out of there, put it back in this bucket. And I'll just do that a few times till they get used to the, to the water. And uh, then we'll introduce them to their brand new habitat. And hopefully we don't have the same trouble we just had, so. And we'll just keep doing that until most of the water has been replaced so that they're used to it. And then we'll pull them out of there, stick them in the fish tank. I don't want to dump this water in there because I don't want to introduce whatever nastiness is in that water from that canal in my fish tank. But meanwhile, while they're getting uh, acclimated to the new water, uh... And there you have it, folks. Cichlid fillets. It ain't much. It's barely a mouthful, but, you know, didn't want to waste the guy. Couldn't throw him back because it's against the law. Couldn't keep him in a tank because he was going to kill Flipper. So, what do you do? Catch and cook. So I'm just gonna throw them in a pan. Sprinkle a little, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see what we're gonna sprinkle on them. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a little Tony Sachery's original Creole seasoning. And we'll just kick it around for a spell until they're cooked. Well, there you have it, folks. Cichlid tastes pretty much just like perch to me. Just sprinkle a little Tony, slap them in a pan. Bad fish, good eating. All right, guys. Well, it's been a little while, so you ought to be acclimated by now. So, uh, you know, I'm going in. There we go. Got one little guy. First little dude. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Calm down. Calm down. Chill, bro. There you go. Go find yourself a rock to hide under. All right, let's go for number two. No. Here we go, number two. Calm down, bro. Ooh, man. Oh, geez, he's big. He's bigger than I thought he was. Calm down, dude. Whoa, whoa, relax. Relax, bro. Holy moly, calm down. Calm down. He's a lot bigger than I realized. Hmm. He's not happy at all. Number two, or number three. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's even bigger. Oh crap. Whew. I don't know what I was thinking. The suckers didn't look that big. I don't remember them being that big. I don't know. They just seemed a lot smaller out there in the canal when I was catching them. But we'll give it a day or two and check it out. Make sure Flipper stays good. Make sure they calm down. And then there you go. So, uh... Well, if you guys want to keep up on how these fellas are doing, I'm going to uh, probably keep some updates on my social media. So if you don't follow me on there, I'll leave the links in the description below. You can check that out and we'll, uh, you know, I'll try and keep you all up to date. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed part one of this video, you can click right here and it'll take you straight to it. You can enjoy that one or you can check out this video if you haven't seen that one. That'll be pretty cool, too. But guys, we are almost up to 200 subscribers as of when I filmed this video. So, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed and you consider doing so, all you got to do is click this little logo right here or you click the subscribe button down in the corner around there somewhere or whatnot. But, uh, yeah. 